I don't think they want to lose at all because after losing to Canopilas last weekend. Well, who wouldn't want to say they're going to carry the day? Again, the names of the combatants there, Worry Wolves, against Shooting Stars, 3SC, Shooting Stars for Club of the Battle. Of course, this is live from the Worry City Stadium here. And, uh, well, the two sides are loaded with the great players. First, the whole side, Andrews Vanzakin, uh, ex junior international, is there. Mbachi goes there, a team is there. Kulibale Adama, the import. Omojako Emmanuel, Onama the good luck. And, of course, don't forget number nine, Ekiosu Ekigo, who is uh, a super English player, making his debut in fantastic form against Sierra Leone. They are all here, including Michael Okoyo and, of course, Sunday Mba. For shooting stars, making his uh, first start for Biodu, for shooting stars, is the goalkeeper there, Biodu Akonde. Sivano Sibiaku is there. Toluwa Shia Kindele. Look at number 10 down there, Tompeo Renokwe. He got the fantastic goal for them against Dolphins last weekend. And we also have Saburio Moyai, Kabira Lausa, ageless Kabira Lausa. And uh, it's a star-studded uh, game we're going to watch because both sides are really loaded to the hills with quality players uh, from. Well, the match officials for today, uh, the center referee is Abubakar Angu. Abubakar Angu is from Yobe State. He's a lecturer in the Business Studies College. And uh, assistant referee number one, Kiri Gwenagu from Anambra State, who is a civil servant. Also, Lukman Suleiman from Kaduna State, an asset surveyor. And, uh, of course, the match commissioner for the day is Barista Sunday Daniel. Reserve referee is Richard. This afternoon, Warri City Stadium. Of course, you talked about shooting stars at Bowie. Three changes to the team that uh, drew with Dolphins uh, last weekend. And the uh, three players coming into the squad, of course, uh, uh, Abiodu Akonde. But as the man to watch out for on the side of shooting star, Torello Bay scored that a scorcher of a goal. That is seventh minute against uh, Dolphins. It was a fantastic goal, a fantastic shot uh, for a way of uh, some 30 yards. Eight goals. Uh, Kiko Ekiosung is uh, very close behind him on uh, seven goals. So today might be another day for him to... Make hay and this Swari Wolves kicking off a long lob there going forward and looking for connection. Except that it was a desperate defensive effort from shooting stars uh, Chimakas putting the ball straight in for Kulibani. And Kulibani is cut off from the ball, he couldn't get to it. Kabira Lausa, he also has scored the two goals for his side, shooting stars of Ibadan. And well, Okoyo, <laughs> Michael Okoyo just could not have got to that one. He couldn't get to the side of the field. On Namadu. And the ball comes across to Kulibali. Kulibali is always lobbing it forward, looking for Efe Yarere. But again, the goalkeeper was quick to get to that one. Biodu Akonde, a young star who has been invited to the under 20 team at a point. And uh, he's the man doing it now for shooting stars from the starting lineup. They are more regular. And Indeed, uh, because. Uh, not quite a turnout, but all the same, the spectators here, they will get uh, good, uh, they've been getting it uh, since the start of the game, and it's been uh, everywhere, a uh, Hyosu again. A uh, Hyosu again with an opportunity, will he come it? He sends the ball across, a good one, oh, but instead of being, well, that, that was quite unselfish, really, but one would have thought that uh, a more direct hit, Mbana with the ball across, and an opportunity, he scrambled and fumbled into... From Olamado, skipper of the side, and now racing is a uh, Hyosu. But uh, the goalkeeper got there first. That's a predatory attacker any day. Yes. But he wasn't gifted with the accuracy that time. And no problem at all for shooting stars. Biodo Akonde. Very young man. With the heart of a lion. Young man who has paid his dues and is now in the starting line of shooting stars. Quite uh, a long way to have come. It's a very short period. Yeah, kissing the ball. And this one will be an offside for center play. Well, I think it could be a at all. It's in 40 minutes already in the game, and there's still goalless here at the Warri City Stadium. But I can tell you that uh, in uh, Pai Yimba is taking the lead. Darlington or Modiak will be scoring for them. It's 1 0 for Yimba in Aba. Kigo Yosu would be allowed that honor to perhaps increase his goal tally, but I'm sure they're going for safety. In gift to Teloa. There he goes. Great responsibility and he puts it away beautifully. The goalkeeper gets the right way. 
petition was just said and too much on it and nothing at all that the young young black Kande can do about it. His goal number one well, coming on 41 minutes to worry wolves. Yes, indeed. A good one from Gifta Tulewa, but I think the goalkeeper really got it all wrong because uh, um, the referee rather got it wrong in the awarding that penalty. I thought the goalkeeper had his hand first to the ball and it shouldn't have been a penalty, but all the same, the referee is uh, <laughs> at the final say. And indeed, uh, the Ralph, you should look at that. The goalkeeper actually got his hand to that ball and just pammed it into the net. Quite a close one for him as well. But the way it is, nothing was right there. And that one set forward, a race now, Ekigo Ekiosu, he has only one man to beat, and he's he able to take care of him, he takes care of his man, and a shot lined up, and a great one, he's battled by the goalkeeper, confusion, a little bit of confusion between goal, and oh, that one went through, it said that Efe Yerere just couldn't latch onto the ball, and Biodong Akonde gratefully picked that one up, Shoaibu coming forward with his left foot, that was not to be, as uh, the lines were cleared rather frantically by shooting stars. There is a corner kick. Corner kick for the Wolves. It's timely clearance from uh, Sivano Sebiaku. If they hadn't uh, done that, we would have been talking about something happening there. But it's a uh, corner kick. Missing by inches there. That was a member of And that's a good turn. Omodiagwe gave that it takes a shot. It's a long one up, and that was not too far off. And that was a blockbuster from well over 40 meters. Unleashed there by Emmanuel Omodiagwe. And it almost caught goalkeeper Yodu Akonde nothing. That would have been a spectacular goal. That really would have been a fantastic effort. Great shot uh, from Amodi Agbe. So first touch let him down. We couldn't control that one. That was a great opportunity and a great position to be in. He's still there running with the ball. And the unleashing a shot. And it hit the man's face. And uh, he was raising his hand thinking after the penalty. Still, what he was coming forward again. And goal, goalkeeper Conde Canning there. Brave goalkeeping. What a flurry of activities inside the box for Warri Wolves. And uh, for shooting stars actually. Oh, very close indeed they came. But somehow... Due credit to that young goalkeeper at Conde. And that was a full blooded shot taken in the face by that defender. And a lot of credit to a Conde. Brave goalkeeping. He wasn't phased at all. That coming now. And that one is not forward. The long way off. The goalkeeper had to backtrack. And <laughs> that is a goal that wow a lot of people who are watching this game. And it was so visionary, so unexpected. And look at Akonde. <laughs> simply, simply fantastic. Simply awesome. A great shot. And Akindele did a good. Oh, the goalkeeper rider. Right